Greetings in the Lord. Our verse today is from Luke chapter 1, verse 34. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? This verse is drawn from the story of the Annunciation of the birth of Jesus. It is the first speech of Mary, and one of the few words she spoke, because she was not a woman of many words. This verse is a reaction to the news which Angel Gabriel gave to her. But before the news, the angel greeted her. Hail, O favored one, the Lord is with you. Luke 1 28. She refused to be carried away by such an unusual accolade. Rather, she was greatly troubled by the divine presence. And when the angel delivered the news that she would conceive and bear a son, she was forced to speak. To her surprise, she asked, How can this be? And she gave a reason for her question. She did not know any man. Her question is not one of doubt or culpable unbelief, like the case of Zechariah in Luke 1, 18 to 20. It expresses questioning belief, like faith seeking understanding and clarification. It was asking about the possibility, as the response of the angel will confirm, because she has no relations with a man. In the original language, the verb expressed is gnosko, which means to know or to learn. In this passage, some scholars translate it as, I have no husband. Some, I have no relations with a man. Others, I am a virgin. The basic idea here is that she has no sexual relations with a man. So how can she bear a son, as the angel said? The main picture the evangelist is painting here is the virgin birth, which Matthew also shares as in Matthew 1, 18 to 20. Mary was a virgin before birth, in birth and after birth. Only God can make this happen. Then the angel responds to her question in the following verses. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. What this means is that the virgin birth is completely a divine action, the work of the Holy Spirit and the power of God. Just like the creation of the world with the Spirit of God hovering over the face of the deep. The angel then went further to prove to her by informing her that her kinswoman Elizabeth had conceived. The one that people declared barren was already in her sixth month. The angel took time to educate Mary that the work of God is beyond human understanding and that when God takes up your case, human nature gives way to the awesome power of God. And to crown and conclude the answer to Mary's question, the angel declared to her, for nothing will be impossible with God. This answer takes our minds back to Genesis 18 verse 14, as the Lord spoke to Abraham when Sarah laughed on hearing that she was to bear a child. He asked, is anything impossible with God? Dear friends, Mary's question has made us understand deeper about the nature of God and the divine power to work in our lives, if we truly believe. It is by the same power of God and the Holy Spirit that the church believes and teaches that Mary was also preserved from the stain of sin from the moment of her conception, the Immaculate Conception, and that sanctifying grace was given to her before sin could have any effect in her soul. We may also ask, how can this be? Of course, nothing is impossible with God, or even the barren may conceive, and the virgin gives birth, and the dead raise to life. How? By the will of God and through the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, your liberation from evil and wicked forces, your healing, your promotion, your miracle is possible with God. Do not be afraid. May God intervene in your situation. May his angel bring you good news. And may every impossibility be made possible in your life and for your good. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.